Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And today we have Ghost of the Mountains. This is a documentary from Disney Nature. Uh, strangely enough, not National Geographic. It is from 2017. It's an hour and 19 minutes long. And it uh, tells us, uh, it follows a team of uh, photographers, videographers, uh, just, uh, I'm sure they're more than that. Uh, but their job, their, what the hell? <laughs> I have loud neighbors. Uh, so, uh, where was I? Um, no edits. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, their job is to capture the elusive uh, snow leopard uh, on film, and it's always it's throughout history. It's been a, it's been a, a, a difficult task, not only because they live in such a remote area of China in the mountains, uh, but there are so few of them. And there are just, uh, they blend in. It's, it's kind of hard to get a picture of them. It's hard to sneak up on them because, you know, it get in close enough in order to get a picture. And even when you do get close enough, and we've seen plenty of documentaries here on Disney Plus that have talked about the snow leopard. Uh, it's, it's just a thing. Everybody loves the snow leopard and loves doing documentaries about it. Uh, one, because they're beautiful creatures. Uh, they are absolutely gorgeous. When you see these, I mean, this is a cub right here. That's adorable. But when... <sighs> I figured, okay, it's just another documentary about cats and the mountains, and they're going to take pictures of it. And, yeah, I mean, it's mainly about just these guys are going up there and spending months at a time, weeks, months at a time, trying to capture the perfect shot. To, to some, that's just, oh, okay, that's good for you. It's not that interesting. Um, but you get to see uh, information about how... Uh, these people work together, both the people who are native to the land and the people who have come in here mostly, I imagine, from America because of their accent. Uh, but they they work together to uh, find these creatures. Uh, these, And when you see them, you understand why. It, it, it's... There's moments when I, you know, I don't always look at the screen when I'm working, I have, when I'm watching. I will look away and work on something else uh, while I'm watching. Especially when it's something that doesn't necessarily need my whole attention, like something with subtitles, you know, where I'm, I'm not understanding anything you're saying, I gotta read the words. Um, th in this case, uh, once you see them get even the rough shots, the shots of where they set up cameras that just sort of monitor certain areas and they hope to get a shot so they get an idea of where they're supposed to go in order to get the good pictures with the good cameras. <sighs> when you finally see uh, that mama uh, snow leopard and you get the idea that she's looking right at you. No, no, not looking at the camera or the guy behind it, looking at you watching the documentary <laughs> she, just the look of this cat has such incredible power it's just like i know who i am you dare you, you you're looking at me like there's nothing it, yeah there are threats that's the to, to their lives it's there's always a risk uh especially when she's trying to protect her cubs but oh, there's nothing in this remote area that could that she believes could possibly take her it, it's it's just astounding i mean it, it, you've seen plenty of leopards and we figure that you know when you think of a leopard it's oh it's the jungle we're going to africa and just you know we're gonna see them hiding in the trees and jumping all over the place and killing all sorts of animals no, this is a totally different environment. One, it's also, by the way, absolutely gorgeous as well. Uh, but uh, we get to see them in their natural, natural snowy habitat. There are moments where they're just like, hey, here's a shot where we're, we're watching her. Oh, man, I can't but she looks so gorgeous. Oh, it's amazing. And I'm like, where? Where? Where is she? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I could have freeze framed in that moment. But there are moments where they just point the camera towards a pile of rocks and I'm just like I, I can't see it you're messing with me aren't you anyway they uh they eventually you know they zoom in a little bit further and you see her and she's just 
breathtaking. And there's moments, other other moments where you just see them just standing there. They're aware of your presence. Now, okay, all right, not yours, but still, it feels like it. I, just for those moments when you get to see them, uh, he, one of the things that they're most taken aback by was not just finding one, oh, hidden in amongst the rocks or the, the snow and whatever else, and oh, there's one that's hunting, not really paying attention to us, looking to see what they can do to take down, uh, you know, some dinner. Um, it's those moments uh, when you see four of them frolicking, just sort of lounging in the sun and enjoying each other's company, a family. And then uh, having the guys going away and having to come back weeks later, uh, knowing, you know, that what they can't, they can't get now because of the weather is too warm and the snow is all melting and they can't track them easily. And then they come back and they, you know, they're looking for cubs. They're looking for a mama with cubs. And they find it, obviously. This is just a shot, by the way. Just a shot from their mounted cameras they keep in a certain spot and hope hope something's going to come by. Based on the the, the things they've been asked, be able to ascertain from, uh, you know, their research and everything, all the work they've done in that area, they figure, oh, this might be a place where they would hang out. And just this sequence here is astounding just to see the cubs playing. Um... But that other part where you just see Mama just laying there, well camouflaged amongst the rocks, and her cubs just romping around near her or, or messing with her, pulling at her ears and her tail and just messing with her and her with her infinite, infinite patience. Moms, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> as as the kids drive you crazy, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's something to see. I didn't think I'd find anything interesting to say about this, uh, that, that I would even find it interesting. Again, there are twice as many documentaries remaining on Disney Plus that I have not seen than there are anything else. About, almost. We were really cutting down this past week or so. We really cut in to the, the inventory. But there are more documentaries to see and more to come uh, on Disney Plus then we have movies, series, or shorts. So, I say, if you're into these kind of things, if you, whether you care about what the crew does or not, I mean, they, they definitely need, deserve re, uh, respect and, uh, and the praise for the, the work they did to get these amazing shots. Uh, and this is 2017, so this is, uh, sure, they've got some high-end cameras for that era. I mean, a lot of times they're looking at these these cats from with using telescopes and, and binoculars and from a distance and whispering and just whispering at a time when you're like, you know, they're like the half mile away, right? The cats can hear them. It, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's worth it. It's, it's worth checking out. If you love nature, if you love just seeing beautiful cats and these, these little kittens are just fuzzballs, just that are fun to watch. But that mama, I can't get enough of this, saying this over and over again. I realize I've been doing it a lot, but holy cow, just, she's got a commanding presence. I'll see that, that face in my dreams tonight just staring me down. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 154. Oh, come on. I just... I, it, I had it set up ready to go, but it apparently decided to close on itself. 154. Oh, and I should know when I hit the 150s or so. Uh, it is 154, right? Yes. We hit the 150s. Uh, we get in the, to the realm of Marvel Studios and... In this case, another documentary. <laughs> but this is very different from the last 15 I think we've seen. This focuses on one of their shows or movies. This one happens to be um, based, uh, focused on one of their most recent series uh, that came out late last year. This is Marvel Studios Assembled Echo. 
Didn't we see it? I feel like we watched it. Maybe I watched it, but I, I'll check. Anyway, uh, that's what we're watching. We're going to do some Marvel tomorrow. Marvel Studios assembled behind the scenes of Echo on the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that. Bye.